let's jump into do you want to do some Vikings news next? Or do you want to do the Sean McVay topic I had? Or I don't know what the Bay Sean McVay stuff? thing is. Do you want so, to know Sean McVay? Sure. Uh, so I was thinking, everybody hires from Sean Yeah, McVay. I think good looking coaches is a good way to go. It's a good start. Um, he is, yeah, he's very good looking, very young, very Matt you know, energetic. Energetic. Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah, Matt, Matt LaFleur is not really energetic. He's just kind of. Right, but Sean McVay. Yeah, like Matt. Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah, the young, attractive. He has some coaches. weird mannerisms. Sean McVay? No, Cliff. Yeah, Cliff is very strange. He's also yeah. is like a big Instagram guy. Uh, he has one. Very odd. He brought up his Instagram followers while trying to recruit free agents. So he, he's a very, very yeah. off guy. Yeah. I'm a fan right, of hit, the Cardinals, hit, but... Hit me with it. Okay, so Sean McVay. Everybody wants to hire from the Sean McVay tree. Okay? Everybody's like, okay, you talked to Sean McVay, you worked with Sean McVay, people... Oh, you worked with Sean McVay, and you worked with the guy, the guy who worked with Sean McVay. A lot of guys are getting hired. I was watching a clip of Sean McVay talking on the sidelines with his players, embracing his wide receivers, t- telling them, like, it's a good game, I'm going to make sure to get you in on the next play, you made a good catch, like, just super personable when it came when it was like outside of football and he was even just like being a good human being and i retweeted that and i don't know if you saw it i think you liked it but it was it was like a, most of your stuff if i can if i see it yeah. it was just i just said that you can oh, hire, I saw it. yeah i saw yeah it. you can hire anybody from that tree but none of those guys are going to guarantee you this relationships with these players sure well so cam Akers is coming back Right, he's gonna get a, he's gonna get very minimal time, but it's gonna lead into the playoffs, and then hopefully he'll be. Uh, uh, so I was I was reading into some NFL you know laws rules, just doing research how like I normally do, Pen- NFL pension laws. Uh, in order to qualify for an additional year of retirement wages to get the full benefits, you have to play for at least three games. Uh, apparently, Sean, because Cam Akers was on a great path, Sean Payton pioneered to make sure that Cam... Sean Newton, Payton. Sean Payton. God, no. Sean McVay pioneered to make sure that Cam Akers was activated as soon as he could. By was, When they found out he was available to play, they activated him because now, since he is considered available for the final three games of the season, he gets a full year's worth of pension added on to his retirement. Right. And I was just, it just, it's another example of him caring about his players as a human being. It's its just like any other work environment when your bosses care about the employees and they show that they care. All of a sudden the workplace, the, the oh, yeah. efficiency goes 100%. up. I, yeah. I believe I believe in that, but nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody calls corporations. In nobody does that. Nobody right. does that. You get a it's decent always... wage and you treat people like human beings when they're having an off day. Maybe the manager picks up, lets them go home, but then they still get paid for the whole day. That person is way less likely to ever call in, even though they're not sick. And like Sean, Sean McVay, everything he does, it's his players are at a human being level. Yes, he's a genius. Yes, he can recall the names of the plays that he played in high school when he was coaching high school football. He, all that aside, you are not getting a Sean McVay coach. Like you are not getting Sean McVay no matter what. Whoever worked with him does not have that right. relationship. And I just, yeah, I, I wanted to talk about Sean McVay because if every coach treated their players the way he treated them, treated football as if, yes, it's a business, but they all, everybody always says, oh, you're working with grown men. You're, this is a these are grown ass men. That's why Urban Meyer didn't work as a coach because he treated it like college and he thought he could have full control. It's the exact opposite of Urban Meyer is Sean McVay. Right. It's if he, if you, if he cares about one thing more than winning, it's to make sure his players are happy where they are yeah. Stafford worked Stafford ended up going to the Rams because he spent uh he went to the beach Sean McVay was there and they had such a good time relationship wise talking that's what made him decide he wanted the Rams yeah. like it's just so Vikings somebody that are probably going to get a head coach new head coach they might look into oh the Sean McVay tree the Bill Belichick tree you're not getting these coaches no matter what like, right it's if you want you want to get these guys like I've heard Matt Rule 
is very similar when it comes to player relationship. Matt Rule can have the iron fist, but if you went up to him and said, hey, I have a problem, <laughs> iron <laughs> fist, um, if I have a problem, he says, okay, let's talk about it. Let's try to figure it out. If it's off right. the field, let's work it out. I just go ahead and hire all these players here, or these coaches unless you get the actual coach themselves you're not getting that you're not getting this yeah. relationship and i don't mean to no. like just i'm i kind of feel like i'm rambling a little bit well, but no i think i think is there is there assistants and other coaches in the nfl that do the things that sean McVay do i'm sure there are but yeah. they're the odds of you getting that person or thinking of that person or finding that person outside of like the like the, i don't know the media and like oh these are the top fits like yeah. Like, uh, what, Doug, Doug Peterson, Doug Peterson, He's Brian Dable, yeah. Eric B. Enemy, like all these, you know, all these people. Um, what, the McDaniels of the Patriots? Patriots. So, like, yeah. all those guys that have always been like, oh, they're the next ones, you know? So, all because their team's successful. Yeah. It's what so, they do is, oh, their offense is successful. Their quarterback's successful. So, the quarterback coach must be good. Right. As opposed to, like, if it were me, if I were the Vikings, I would talk to the Packers' offensive line coach. However, I don't know what he's like as a person. The right. Packers' offensive line is never bad. They're always, like, great guys off the yeah, field. I mean, so you get, just... um, so, like, for instance, you're not going to find, when you get these, like, young, younger, either younger coaches or, like, specific coaches that do really good, like, Andre Patterson's one of these guys that, like, has a great relationship with everybody. He's very well respected. Our new wide receiver coach, Keenan, Keenan McCardell. I believe. Yeah, McCardell. Yeah, so he's been amazing. Like, everyone's been, like, we like him. He's personable. He's young. He's obviously doing really well with the wide receivers. So like you're gonna find a bunch of these guys, but they're not gonna be Sean McVay or they, like yet, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So, I mean it's it's hard to wish for that, especially like from that tree. Like maybe they're just successful in that tree because of Sean McVay. Sure. Um, yeah, they they learned the X's and O's, but where they lack is the personable. So right. the reason that they're not successful when they switch teams is they don't have that relationship anymore. Because yes, they have the ability to teach their coaches and assistant coaches X's and O's, they don't have the bandwidth to be able to handle relationships with the players like Sean McVay seems to be able to. And like Sean McVay, Sean McVay wouldn't necessarily be successful in every other organization, much as like Bill Belichick successful in his organization, but he wouldn't necessarily be successful somewhere else. Right. Like so Cleveland. like, yeah. So like you're going to get, you have to find the person that's, that's, that's your co like that's your coach right your yeah person. tom part Lennon. of it is has some there's some luck in basically everything. yeah tomlin in pittsburgh that's that's a, a good one ravens harbaugh ravens yeah, harbaugh. uh Bill belichick andy reed you know and like there's um, countless countless people that have been there a long time pete carroll well i mean he's much he's, he's very similar to a zimmer situation but they came in at the same time too so. right um but yeah i just think that's what makes sean mcbay special Sure. Want to talk about that.